Hi YouTube, we're here with the ASW28. This is my second ASW28, the third that I filmed videos on. The first was dead, the second was Esteban's, which is also dead, <laughs> strangely enough. And then this one's an awesome new one, and hopefully my building skills and flying skills are better so it will survive more than a few weeks. But I wanted to show you, normally I wouldn't show you this sort of thing because it's sort of boring, but uh, I want you to see, like when you get wings that are starting to get this long, it doesn't seem like much. When they come apart, it's actually packs down really tight. But I don't like taking it completely apart. And until you work these in and out a few times, they're pretty hard to get on and off. So let's show you how we do this, okay? We've got the radio system on. We've got a 60C 2200 milliamp 3S. Um, this is from Turn G Heavy Duty. And we got XC60s on there, and then we have a little ballot. Uh, this is a battery voltage tester 138S. They work really nice. That's going to help us out. We're just making sure we don't hit our low voltage warning. Uh, once you've established a good time, you don't have to use those things, but it is nice. So the reason I do this is so I can actually assemble this right now while it's just sitting here on the beanbags. I use beanbags to transport my planes. Um, there's lots of millions of different ways you can do this. It'll work well. I like the beanbags, but I also bring, usually I don't bring one plane. I mean, it's very rare that I bring one plane. So this is kind of a nuance right here. Okay, so those are going on. And then I want you to see, can you see about getting a close up for these guys? Okay, so you see this? This is the two connectors. You can see how they're glued so they stay in the proximity they need to be. And then all I have to do is line up one of the black wires with one of the brown wires. And then I just plug it in like this. And then I go until it clicks. And then I just have to slide that in. As I can reach, then I'm gonna slide that in. Now that's the other side that's kind of pushed through, okay? So you just kind of have to work it out. Okay, I'm gonna get this close enough to where I can slide it in, and then it just slips in, and it's fairly easy. Now normally, I would try to do that with the battery attached so that I can make sure that all my control surfaces are working. But as you can see, I'm really having to push hard on this, on this wing, but it clicked, okay? So now let's lift the tail up, let's pull the plane out, and then with one hand, you can pull rubber band off or whatever it is you've got. And then you can get these things popped. You're not going to be able to do that quite as easy with one hand. So I just want to show you that it's possible to do all this. Grab Pat, pull it, <laughs> pull it out. And then get your radio, get your battery, put it in there the way you want. I had one person recommend to put this at an angle to get the CG right. And that's actually a really good idea. But for now, I'm not trying to put off your good idea because I really do think it's a good idea. I want to tend toward nose heavy right now. I'd rather be nose heavy intentionally on the first flight. Just make sure everything's going to be good and then we can back it off. We'll have plenty of rudder authority and we have the big flap so we should be able to counter any sort of negative, uh, negative effects. Okay, so the first thing you got to do, can you... Yeah. We got to get this Velcro adjusted so we're going to do that real quick. We'll come right back. Okay. Okay, so we just had to adjust the Velcro strap, which is something you'll have done the first time. And then you want to do that every time. Then I come in here and I plug in my voltage alarm. Um, and just remember, when you have a plane that requires some assembly, you can put a stand out. Okay, plug in your electronics. Let the stabilizer initiate. Okay, I usually wait until the ESC initiates. Although these Lemon RX are started almost immediately. If you have a Lemon RX 7 channel with stabilization plus, it takes a little bit longer and you may actually have to set it down so it can initiate properly, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Pat back in there. I'm gonna get her, uh, I'm gonna get it packed right in there. I'm gonna get the canopy back on. You can see how those screws will help and you go take that apart later. So you got a nice tight fit, everything's held in there. Um, prop is collapsed, throttle cut is on, throttle cut has been tested. Now I can go ahead and grab my radio system, throttle cut is on and tested. This is an important step. Okay, remember I'm trying to show you how you can do this alone. Because it's not long before you'll be alone if you do this sort of thing. <laughs> okay, rudder, correct direction. Elevator, correct direction. Flaps correct direction, pro, the correct direction, ailerons, roll, ailerons, roll, okay, stabilizer is currently all the way up, up, left, right, 
up, up. I'm just looking at the control surface and I'm seeing it go the direction I tip the plane. If you can't see because it's moving too quick, move it slowly in that direction. It'll stay there, okay? See that on the rudder? Same thing now. On, off. I'm listening. On, off. Okay, now, the reason I'm moving up and down is because it's really hard to wiggle this plane because it's so long, okay? Back on. And now I'm just going to adjust the master gain to about half, all right? Then the last test is throttle. This full throttle. That seems weak to you, doesn't it? Does that seem weak or is it just nuts? I don't know. I don't think it's worth test testing. Let's switch batteries. We're just going to get another 2200 milliamp. Okay. Okay, we'll pause it. Okay. All right, guys. So everything is ready. We did switch batteries, by the way. I don't know what the heck is going on with that one. Sounds a little better. Okay. Take off flaps. Pro. Last final test. Everything is ready to go. We got a little bit of wind coming this way. That'd be the ideal launch direction, but we got to launch this way just because of the proximity of the vehicles and stuff. Okay, a little bit of up trim we're going to need out of the throttle. There's our trim for elevator. Oh, <laughs> you hear the noise? Yep. Awesome. Rudder. Need a little bit less stabilizer. Okay, turn it down some. Out of the throttle. Okay, here we go. Right in front. Full throttle. Seems okay for power. It's not crazy, guys. Never gonna be crazy on this configuration. Way too much stabilization right now. Oh, that thing screams awesome. I love it. There's some full rudder action there. Turning down the stabilizer some more yet. That was just to show you that you can get the thing to turn. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and turn off the stabilizer here. Stabilizer's off now. Okay. Line free solid. We're not dead calm today. You can definitely see the wing, uh, the lights. Into the power a little bit early as I learn the plane again. Those lights are great. Yeah. I like them a lot. Okay, we'll do a rudder turn here if we can get it. Nope. Okay, definitely got a little bit too much nose weight. Okay, remember, what's the number one rule with an ASW-28? Don't crash it. No, oh. keep it flying. You gotta move it quick or it won't fly, okay? If you move it quick enough, you can do anything with it. Upside down, right side up, doesn't matter. That was pretty slow. Okay, take off flaps. Jeez, did you see it go up? That was crazy. There's takeoff flaps. Definitely slows down a lot. Okay, so now we're gonna see how crow looks. I feel like we're gonna definitely have to do a mechanical trim on the elevator. Okay, full crow. Oh yeah, baby, that thing is coming down quick. Man, that thing is really solid, considering I don't have stabilization on it at all. Okay, I've turned it back on. Now let's go ahead and try the flaps now. Okay, take off flaps. Oh yeah, that thing has good roll authority. It's not quite as amount, it's not quite as much. Jeez, I almost landed on accident, guys. Look at the climb out, guys. That's decent. For 12.7, I had 12.8 before. Now, that's 100% throttle. There's no dinking around. You got to get on the power. But you can do that, too, if you use gravity to do the job. Now, Pat is doing a pretty good job of flying for a maiden. And, I, guys, I really like this plane. It's a fun plane to fly. I feel like the consequence factor is just lower than on the ASH-26. 
and it's noisier. I don't know why. Probably because it's got a lot more drag, a lot more sloppy joints and stuff. You know what I bet it is? I bet it's my control surfaces on the bottom. They're open and on the top, they're not. Okay, full crow from full speed. Let's see how much. Oh, wow. Roll authority is great still. Okay. Throttle, full throttle. Jeez. That was such a quick landing. All right, I want to see it straight downhill with crow. Okay. Straight downhill with crow. Just engaged it. Oh. Man, you got to give it a little bit more control, but you can still do everything you want. And yes, I'm getting a little close because I just want you guys to see this thing. Getting a little speed, getting a little altitude. Man, those lights are effective. Okay. Yes, I love it. Okay, so one thing I need to maybe think about doing once I get my mechanical trim adjustment on the elevator is, um, well, maybe trying a smaller battery, 1500 milliamp, 3S might be good. Oh, I love that. I'm using uh, about 30% rudder to make that turn. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna cut down my Expo. My Expo is to the lowest setting now. All right, let's do a roll for the people. Oh, come on, you can do it. There we go. That was kind of a hokey roll there, but whatever. That's a big wingspan. It takes a lot. And guys, remember, I have huge control surfaces compared to yours. If you're just doing this bone stock, full rudder, up, and back. I had to use the elevator to keep that nose from wanting to point down that time. Okay, this is a tailwind pass. Didn't really like that wasn't very smooth at all i did a bad job but man those lights are effective aren't they ticks me off i like those lights better than i do on my ash 26. although my tail light is landing flaps or takeoff flaps man it's so weird i don't even have any um i don't have any tie for elevator correction and it's more or less flying straight with both pro and flaps Okay, full crow. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that thing, I bled off so much speed, it wanted to land at my feet. Okay, one thing I gotta tell you guys. Bigger prop, bigger ESC does not mean your motor can handle it. Okay, just remember that. If I had 4S power in this baby, it would be good. Because look at that. I mean, you've got the juice to do what you want to do. You just don't do it very quick. And what do we know about power in planes, guys? We know power saves lives. I mean, it might be an ambiguous life. Oh, there's our low voltage warning. Okay, when you hear that first warning, land it, baby. Take off flaps. Holy crappers, get here, would you? Full crow. Out of the flaps all together, I just don't want to chase it. <laughs> what? That was awesome. Look at that, we aren't even gonna hardly have snow in here. Oh, guys, look at that. It didn't even dip down in the snow, I love it. Okay, well. That was not bad at all. Look at the snow. The snow in the landing gear. It's not too bad. Just a little bit. Oh man, those geese are about to take off. <laughs> Ooh, I wish I had battery left. You know what geese are good for? Pooping everywhere. I was going to say not much. All right, so step two. Step two is um, go ahead and get another battery in this and fly it again for your viewing pleasure we got a 1500 milliamp we're gonna stick in here and then we'll see if it performs a lower c rating though so we'll see if it works uh you want to pause it okay yeah okay it's a little awkward i wanted to show you that i don't know if i did this on this plane or if it was already a little puffadelic to begin with that would be a little bit irritating if it was not puffed before 
but let's just presume that it wasn't puffed before and we puffed it there. That would be a bummer. So we're gonna try this smaller battery. This one has a little bit of puff to it. This is a 1500 milliamp 40C 3S. It is 3S, yes, it is 3S. Okay, so this should CG out better um, just for the simple fact that it's a smaller pack and we needed a little bit less nose weight. So we're gonna see how this works. If this works well, then I don't know, maybe I'll be getting some more of these packs or I'll probably more than likely just figure out a way to get the, the 2200s in there. My timer incidentally was set to eight minutes and we were about, I would say safely a minute short yeah. on a 2200 milliamp 3S. So if we're going to 1500 milliamps, why don't I set the timer for four minutes and respect the timer? So we're gonna plug this in. I'll probably be a little bit nicer this time to the whole setup, just because I don't wanna lose the plane on the second flight. Oh, we go. want a voltage alarm on there yeah. too, don't we? My wife is uh, helping me so we don't have to run back to the car. Come on, double duty back here. Double duty. Oh man, I'm just missing the boat. Those <laughs> geese, oh. There's nothing funner than annoying geese <laughs> to leave. Okay. I gotta go to the park back here. Why don't you pause it while I fight this? Okay. Alright guys, so we're gonna give you a flight with a little bit of sunsetage going on. I'm gonna grab the CG points and I'm just gonna test it. That's with the 1500 milliamp 3S Zippy Compact. 40C, okay? I'll link to it or whatever, but um, feels okay. It's not as powerful. It'll probably do the trick, probably. Okay, flaps. Yeah. Feels okay. Probably gonna have to untrim it a little bit. A little bit more stabilization. So guys, a little bit more stabilization. Looks good, feels good. It's always easier to maiden a plane in the calm. Oh yes. Take off flaps. The full length flaps, I think, are just kind of deteriorating the flight performance. And really what I need is I need a half setting. I need like a thermal setting. I'm really glad I did those lights. Those lights are way better than what they were before. Yeah, but to the nice. untrained eye, it's gonna look a lot like the ASH-26. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Well, it looks different than the ASH-26, but not much. The difference is, guys, you can go buy this today. It's true. You can follow the link below, get your very own. I would say that I'm not a horrible sailplane pilot, but I'm certainly not the best. Oh, bird! Oh, All right, time to get time to get jiggy with it. Get over here! <laughs> Get out of my house! They left. I'm gonna leave them alone. Right overhead, you ready? Yep. Well. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> rudder authority, I feel, is a little lacking, guys. We need more rudder. I mean, really. And I'm not just saying that because I'm kind of a big fan of rudder. This 1500 milliamp feels way better for weight. But you know why it does? It's because the CG's better. I think it would have done fine with the 2200 if I would have had it centered out better. But you know, I wouldn't say it flew bad. It just flew. I've flown an ASW-28 and had better experience. So I think maybe what's going on is I'm just trying to figure out how the heck Astabons flew so good because I know what he did is. And <laughs> Although it, it did fly pretty cool when it was this V for victory formation. Mm -hmm.
Okay, full speed. All right, so let's try something. I want to try a landing, full throttle, full crow, just now, just now. I'm going to put it right at my feet. Oh my goodness, I'm going to land before my feet. Jeez, did you see how close that was? That was like immediately. Okay, tailwind pass, into a stall, full crow. Yeah, that's a little scary. I don't want to like crash into our face. Okay, full crow. Full crow, out of the full crow. Full crow, full crow, full crow. Out of the crow. Oh, that is so sweet looking. <laughs> it was riding on a plane. All right, let me grab it. You can just... Okay. Look at how cool that looks. Okay, so that was my timer, but still no voltage alarm, okay, guys? I can't believe how effective the crow is. I mean, I think it's great. It's very effective. Okay, so I want to just show you. We got a little bit of headwind from this direction. It's shifted. So take off flaps. No throttle. Throttle cut is off, so it's ready. See, it's not stalling yet. Okay? I have a sneaky suspicion we're going to have to do something to get the... Uh, the air is being turbulated under the wing, I think. Full landing flaps, full throw. It's pretty good. <laughs> this is basically our second flight, guys. Look at that. We had full throttle circle. All right. Challenge accepted, Brian. Oh, jeez. Take off. Land right here. Okay? One circle. That's it. Full throttle, out of the throttle, full crow. Keep the nose down. Whoop. Keep the nose down. Right here, guys. Out of the out of the crow. I'm out of. You didn't even make it all the way around. <laughs> Woo! Oh no! I killed my rudder. I killed my rudder servo. Ah! Oh, on the maiden flight set. Guys, this is the type of things that happen to people who have to fly in snow. <laughs> and you know what? If there was going to be a servo to fail, that would be the one I want to fail. Actually, the elevator servo might be easier, but uh, I killed it. So the next thing you're going to have is a repair video <laughs> showing you how to rebuild a Volantix RC rudder servo. Or maybe better yet, I'll put a Giganto metal gear servo because you know what I need in this plane? Tail weight. And you know what you need? You need to check the description and go buy one. Thanks for watching. Come back for more. Don't forget to like and subscribe.